Hello and welcome to your walking break. And today's video is, uh, well, it's different in an unexpected way, I'd say. So we're doing a, a normal uh, night launch from BKSC. And with a crew bound for a moon. As, uh, as you can see, the K stands for something different. This is uh, the uh, Kennedy Space Center. Because yes, this is real solar system. Kind of. So basically, I've uh, decided that I'm going to get uh, ASRSS. Purple scale re real solar system. It's the real solar system just to scale down to be the uh, same uh, scale as Trina's Q. So basically, it looks like the real solar system, but it's about as difficult uh, as uh, Trina's Q. And uh, yeah, some, I'm just going to be doing some interesting stuff uh, with this uh, new install, which uh, yeah, you'll uh, see uh, soon enough, I'm sure. But first, we're launching to the moon. Because I've heard a lot about it, and it seems very interesting. And see, so yeah, I'm launching from Kennedy Space Center using a Katniss Cape Canaveral uh, for, a KSS, uh, for KSRS. I, I can never get the acronym right, can I? It's not even an acronym, it's an initialism. Ignoring that, we're currently uh, just uh, past uh, the coast of the United States, to our south, you can see uh, Cuba and various other Caribbean islands. And so the uh, launch vehicle itself, uh, it's uh, pretty standard with a uh, Titan uh, 3 style staging, where uh, two solid rocket boosters ignite first, then in the air the uh, core stage ignites. We used a liquid hydrogen uh, fueled uh, core stage, and now we have a more prevalent upper stage that is so simple it has infinite ignitions. Below us, you can see, I believe, a Bermuda. And we are continuing on into orbit. And yeah, you can see uh, the, uh, the reliability uh, box is blank. Since the engine is so simple, it does not have any uh, rated uh, burn time or ignitions. And there we go, we enter into orbit. And time warping uh, over Africa. Pretty soon we should see a nice orbital sunrise, and we can plot our burn to the moon. I used the Lunar Transfer Planner, or at least I believe that's the name of the mod, and you can find it very easily on CCAN. And if, yeah, that basically it gives you a, the correct the time to launch and what inclination to launch into, you will get a nice transfer to the moon. Oh, well, we're going to be going into a polar lunar orbit, uh, because uh, our science experiments uh, will function better with more biomes to cross over. Also, it feels, it feels weird being able to say lunar and not lunar correctly, and I definitely will probably mess up at some point later in this video if I haven't already. Uh, we've started our burn now over Australia, but uh, we uh, go out of a communications range, and uh, yeah, the craft, uh, we overburn and start to, uh, like, start to burn retrograde, retrograde. But we're able to uh, correct, and so, yeah, we'll have to do a few more maneuvers. But that won't be much of an issue since this craft was severely overbuilt, because I knew I would mess up the ascent significantly. Also, for some reason, the uh, stock Delta V readout uh, thinks we have uh, no Delta V. I'm uh, using a Kerbal Engineer Redux. But we can perform a maneuver to uh, correct our trajectory to uh, go towards the moon. And now we can uh, first uh, quickly uh, correct our maneuvers again. And a uh, time warp uh, towards our uh, orbital insertion burn. And so now we're in the moon's sphere of influence. And okay, I didn't uh, bother installing uh, some higher resolution textures, which I know are available for this mod. For already, this looks this looks great. I never I always wanted to do uh, like a real solar real solar system and realism overhaul. However, I just uh, thought I should start with this first. But we've inserted into a lunar orbit. 
So now we can uh, first deploy our uh, the well in, deploy the antennas and science science equipment on the payload. You can see a nice uh, modded magnetometer boom, and then we can detach from the upper stage. So yeah, this was a short video just to uh, show my uh, first mission in uh, Kerbal Scale Real Solar System. I hope you enjoyed, I want to thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and goodbye!